I'm Richard Vobes, TV's bald explorer, and I'm discovering Britain. This time I'm in Shropshire, in search of the home of a notorious highwayman. I'm exploring the remains of Middle Castle. Care to join me? The village of Middle is pretty much in the middle of Shropshire, a few miles north of Shrewsbury. It's a picturesque village with a church, pub and farm. Richard Goff, historian, wrote a book about the place in 1700. However, Middle has a darker secret. It was the home to an outcast blackguard, Humphrey Kiniston, and the remains of it are still here. So, a quick climb up the local church tower and a peer over the parapet and the remains of Middle Castle begin to reveal themselves. I'll explore the highwayman in the next episode, but for now I'm concerned about the Great House. Where was it and what did it look like? The ruins are now found at Castle Farm, home to cows, chickens and more bizarrely, alpacas. And as to the castle, well, there's not a lot to show for itself. This is all that's left of the old manor house that once stood here. It had permission to crenellate from the king and became Middle Castle. It might have looked a bit like this, judging from the archaeological remains, and would have been a very grand affair in 1309 when it was converted from a manor house to a stronghold. Now it's not much more than a stump. It was built as part of the protection against the Welsh. There was even a leak court. Wealth flourished and life was good. With an enclosed courtyard, it was pretty secure. There was a moat that surrounded the whole castle. Over here was a drawbridge and entrance tower, and the thick walls faced out towards Wales in this direction. There was one, possibly two towers, with staircases that led to the roof. This actually is uh, part of an old staircase that went up, that even in recent times has collapsed. After it was abandoned in the 15th century, the castle began to deteriorate. John Leyland described it as very ruinous in 1540, and in the 1960s, Joyce Phillips witnessed further troubles. I was in the kitchen of the farmhouse, and uh, it was a very calm, still December day. No wind, no nothing, very still. And um, I suddenly heard a rumbling, and I thought, oh, it's the children going round on their bikes. On the... And I looked through the kitchen window, and I saw this big cloud of dust around the castle. And I thought, gosh, the castle's falling down. And this went on for several seconds, and then there was a horrible silence, and, and the dust sort of settled eventually. And I realised the castle was no more, you know, half of it had fallen off. Gosh. So the owner abandoned his home in the 15th century, was outlawed and became a highwayman. He even lived in a cave. Well, that's what tradition tells us. But who was this privileged person turned ruffian? Where was his cave? And what of his legend? And I shall be finding out all about that the next time I go exploring. <laughs>